What's going on YouTube? As you can see by the thumbnail, today I'm going to be bringing y'all a few tips and tricks on how to get a well blended drop fade. Yes sir. And rule number one when always starting a haircut, man, you want to do a scalp analysis and if they have waves, comb with the wave pattern. Do not comb against because you might mess up the waves, you know what I mean? So. That's what we're doing here. For this particular cut here, my boy wanted to start off with a two. So I'm gonna go ahead and open that two guard all the way open just to, you know, lay his hair down. Um, so you can actually see the waves really pop. You feel me? And again, we're gonna go with the wave pattern. Make sure that that's what you do. When they have waves, go with the wave pattern. So for this next part, I'm gonna take that one and a half guard and I'm just gonna go with the grain. Uh, right there on, on top of his edge up. The reason for this is because he likes to wear do-rags and sometimes when he take his do-rag off, his hair is so thick, so it kind of gives it that bang look. You know what I mean? We don't want the bangs. You dig what I'm saying? And of course, we're gonna go ahead and get started with that first guideline. Um, now, I will say this. A lot of people do not like to use the, the edges or the trimmers um, to start off that guideline but if you you know if you know what you're doing you you good I wouldn't suggest it you know just because it's a lot harder to get out but if you have the right tools and you you know you know how to work those tools you'll be able to get that line out like I'll show y'all And as you can see, I have the Babyliss Pro FX uh, clippers, um, and I have the blade all the way open, no guard. We're just gonna go up about a half an inch, um, and then we're gonna work from there. So as you can see, what we're gonna be doing here is just attacking that bottom line. We wanna get it as clean and clear as possible, you know, well blended, making sure that we don't see that bottom line at all. Hold on, boy, put that, put that mask back on that boy, man. Don't take it off now. So for those of you who know about those the corded masters, look, the cordless ones work just the same, you know what I mean? So I'm going to always go back and, and when I'm trying to clean up an area, I'm going to pick those up, just open and close method, you know what I mean? Just to get in that, that general area of the, the first guideline, that's what we're doing right here, just basically cleaning that part up.
All right, y'all, so what we're going to be doing here is just pretty much opening the Clippers all the way up with that one guard on there to create a third guy line. Now what I'm going to be doing here is just basically I'm going to take that same one guard that I used to make the third guy line with and close it all the way up and just, you know, attack and tap at that, you know, second guy line right there. As you can see, um, a lot of times it's not going to get it all the way out, you know, so we're going to drop down to that, you know, half guard and just work. You know, at a certain angle, we're going to play with our angles right here because, again, we're not trying to create another guideline. We're just trying to work that bottom guideline out now that we see. And since I'm satisfied with, you know, a little bit of how that blend came, now I'm going to drop down to just straight blade action, you know, and I'm going to be open and closing in that same general area of where that bottom guideline is now at. And we're just going to be working that one out, playing cleanup, you know. And in this type of, you know, environment right here, I promise you, it is all about your angles. When you're in this general area of the fade, it's all about the angles because you don't want to keep creating guidelines or lines. You dig what I mean? And of course, we're going to go to that 1.5 because that's the magical guard for this particular cut. You know what I mean? At 1.5, it's going to lay the hair down, you know, but we're attacking that third guideline that we created. And again, we're not going to be using the whole blade. What we're going to be doing is just working at an angle just so that we won't be creating any more lines. And of course, we're going to do the same thing around the rest of the head. But right here in particular, don't get lazy at the back of the fade. I know a lot of barbers who get lazy. You know what I mean? When when you get back there in the back of the head, I know y'all I know y'all know what I mean. So, like I said, man, make sure you keep that same energy when you, you know what I'm saying, making sure the back of the fade is icy. You dig what I'm saying? And of course, open close action, just kind of playing with that blend right here. Man, look, I feel like I forgot to warn y'all, by the way, bro. If you ain't already, you might want to go put some goggles on, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Uh, put a life vest on. Because this dude right here is, is, the waves is hidden. You know what I'm saying? This dude got a tsunami on his head. You feel me? And listen, I, I like to drown. You know what I'm saying? Just cutting his hair. And like I said, all we doing is just, you know, matching this side of the fade to what we've already done on the other side. And I'm going to keep saying it because I already said it. And y'all just need to know this. It's all about angles when you're in this area right here. When you under this type of pressure right here, especially when somebody who, you know what I'm saying, shooting nothing but waves at you, it's all about angles. You feel me? Again, 
I'm going to take that one and a half guard and I'm just, you know, tapping the front of that edge up just to make sure that the bangs do not pop up once he put his do-rag on. And of course, we're going to use that liquid razor just to get that edge up super crisp. You feel what I'm saying? We're going to start in the middle. I always say start in the middle of the edge up. That way it don't be crooked. You know what I mean? You go right to left or left to right. Every single time. And look, don't be afraid to go over that edge up a few times. Just don't. You know what I'm saying? Cut your client. You feel me? Don't slice and dice them up, you dig? What you want to do is you want to lightly tap. Look at that, man. That, 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 that right there is just <laughs> super clean, super crisp. And we not even finished yet. Man, I try to tell y'all to put that life jacket on, but y'all didn't want to listen to me, man. You're going to learn. You're going to learn today. You still watching this video. You're going to learn to put your life jacket on. You feel me? You're going to learn. And of course, before we just going to say that we done with a cut, we always want to go back Look over our work, just tapping those areas that we could have been, you know, a little bit better on throughout this process. And that's what we're doing here. We're just going and basically playing cleanup. That's it. And of course, we got to pull out the shears just to, you know, get those pointy hairs that just keep sticking up. Them things so annoying. We definitely got to tighten my boy up with that straight razor. Make sure he icy. Hey, this is exactly what I mean when I say don't be afraid to go over the edge up a few times. For me, what I did, I used my kid friendlies first just to put the outline of the edge up in there. Um, as y'all can see, I'm bringing out those hard boys, the hard hitters, you know what I'm saying? The ones that I use when I put the hot sauce on there. But for this client in particular, he don't need the hot sauce. He don't want the hot sauce. And if this is your first time on my channel, this is your first haircut tutorial video that you watched all the way through, you should know that hot sauce is simply just, some people call it black ice, some people call it spray, um, the black stuff, uh, the paint. Um, but today, this is not what we doing. You dig what I mean? It ain't Beijing. <laughs> you feel me? Man, look at that right there, man. Look, if you watch this video all the way through, congratulations. We're now family. So what I need you to do now is to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Comment down below 
where are you from comment down below what kind of haircut you want me to do next what you want to see me do next if you have any questions hit me up let's get it